Each September, half a million children begin the most important year of school so far. Year seven. CBBC have rigged this secondary school with loads of cameras. So you can see exactly what happens as they make new friends and get into trouble. If you wish to find out how strict I can be, then break the rules I set down. I'm not spotting makeup there, am I? But what they learn here will stay with them forever. Hello there, I'm Mr Thorburn and I'm a science teacher here. If you've ever wondered what secondary school is like, here's your chance to find out. This is our school. How can you do that? It's July and the end of term. For year six, their days at primary school are coming to an end. What are you looking forward to about secondary school? Yeah, no, yeah, the food actually. <laughs> it's an exciting time with all the fun of Leavers proms. That dries really quickly. <laughs> From dressing up to driving round in stretch limos. It's a chance to celebrate with classmates you've known since reception. And for this lot, a dance-off between the boys and the girls. Open Gangnam Style! Gangnam Style! Gangnam Style! Gangnam Style! Open Gangnam Style! There are also lots of farewell assemblies. In ten years' time, I would like to be a kind and caring young man with lots of friends. I think I want to be a microbiologist. I want to be a vet. In ten years' time, I want to be in university doing a maths degree. A stunt double, because... I love taking risks. I love science, so I would like to be a scientist. In 10 years' time, I'd like to be a sports trainer to help others improve their skills. I want to be a singer because I love music. Well, without a doubt, I'd like to be like a full-on professional, a motorbiker. In 10 years' time, I'd like to be in game design, making really fun games and hope to have a top hit. The end of year six can also be a sad time. A chance to look back at the last seven years. The more I think about it, the more and more I get upset about leaving. So it just feels kind of strange knowing that you're not going to come here ever again. Say goodbye to old friends and teachers. The most thing I'd miss about the school would probably be the fact that we're all a big family. And when, when I move over to secondary, I won't know anyone except my friends who come from this school. The next few months will mean big changes. So what's worrying Year 6? You leave primary school being top dog and then you go down to the youngest in secondary school. I think I'll feel really 
scared, quite self-conscious and worry a bit because I won't be with my friends. After the long summer holidays, these year sixes will be arriving in brand new surroundings. I hope that my new teachers think that I'm going to work really hard, because I will, and I hope they like me. <laughs> Some will be heading here to Conyers School near Middlesbrough. You've just walked down there, sorted it out until you suddenly come and see me, oh, as if by magic it's all fine. That's Mr. Scary, aka Mr. Scary. More about him later. Conyers is really big, it's really busy, and it's where 221 brand new year sevens will be spending the next five years of their lives. It's got 80 classrooms, two canteens, two gyms, six tennis courts and a football pitch. I'm worried on the first day that I might go wrong in the school because it's a really big school. Well, at my old school, it's like I could find my way around it on my first day. But at Conyers, I'm just going to be lost. I have no idea where my, like, form class is. For now, the school is empty. And our New Year 7s have got the summer holidays to hang out and have fun. Oh, hold that on, please. Quick, you're a rock star, man. <laughs> oh. Got it. <laughs> got it. But while they enjoy themselves, something unusual is happening back at the school. We're letting CBBC rig the place with loads of cameras. In the classrooms, the corridors, and the playground. Next term, they'll be recording everything that happens, so you can see just what goes on when Year 6 becomes Year 7. It's going to be very strange being filmed, because normally it's, it, it's just you uh, getting on with your school day with your friends, but with the cameras, it could mean that the entire country could be uh, watching you. I'll have to stay on top when I'm getting filmed because I can't do anything wrong because it'll it'll be embarrassing. I don't want the cameras seeing me eating because I'm a very messy eater. We'll be getting to know Year 7 pretty well. Watching as they make lots of new friends. I hope that my new classmates will see me as a, a funny person who wants to uh, make new friends. It'd be important to make friends to, so you've got someone to back you up when think times get hard. I don't laugh, but I've kind of forgot how to make friends. Just go up to someone and you just say, hi, my name is Delight. Nice to meet you. So let's meet some of our New Year Sevens. This is Libby. She was one of the stars of her end of year six talent show. Shmeal and Spence. I think it's fabulous in New Spence's world because I can do anything you ask me to do. You know, for example, from Pineapple Dance Studios. Woo! <laughs> At primary school, she had lots of friends. Could I just have a cookies and cream in the single chocolate corn as well, please? What's worrying her is that none of her old friends will be in her new tutor group. It's quite scary and quite worrying because they might look like they might leave you out, but I think anybody would worry about if you're leaving your friends behind. With CBBC cameras everywhere, we'll see just how Libby gets on as she starts Year 7. It's because I've only just made friends with these girls. And they're lovely girls in our class. We're going to be confident and go in. Yeah. Yep. Have my blotches gone? You have no blotches on that lovely face at all. 
We'll catch all the ups and downs of her first few weeks. Oh, no, I can't. Swap your work <laughs> with somebody. Who do you like in this class, yeah, Heather? Like? The fitting, it's quite important because you've got to make new friends. Not my number. My sandwich has got squished. Uh, what sandwich? Is that banana? Will she find the new friend she's looking for? Best thing to happen to me at Conyers would be um, more friends. Some will be coming into Year 7 with their friends from primary. Take Harry and Owen. We've been friends since Year 1 in our primary school, where... Where I couldn't press my shoe and he came to help me. Doing things like tying his shoelaces are harder for Harry than for some. I have cerebral palsy that affects me walking and talking. It hasn't affected their friendship, but will things change in Year 7? I think my life will change dramatically because I'll get to meet new people, see what they're like and learn a lot more. You get to meet other people. Those CBBC cameras will let us see what changing schools means for Harry and Owen. Just, just stick with me. Every time we're getting steak pie when it's on. Oh! Well, I reckon that we should try and make some more friends. Yeah. <laughs> Until we get there, it's going to be like. What what it's like 50 50. Are they gonna be are they gonna be like, wow, well, you're you two are best friends, or is it gonna be like you two are best friends, you need to stop being best friends because it's just spoiling our friendship? We'll find out what happens when they meet new classmate Iman. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Will their double act become a triple whammy? <laughs> We'll also get to know some of the teachers. Led by the head, Mrs Spellman. She's in training, getting ready to welcome a brand new set of Year 7s. Sometimes you'll find that very quiet, unassuming children in primary school absolutely blossom and think, actually, I don't want to be that person anymore. I actually want to get involved and I didn't ever do that at primary school and nobody expected me to. So sometimes the very quiet personalities are actually those who shine, so it is the chance to make a fresh start. With cameras all over the school, even our busy head teacher can't hide. How is everyone? Everyone got their sweatshirts? Just take them off because it's warm, that's absolutely fine. It's lovely to see all these student leader badges. Absolutely lovely. Then there's the assistant head, Mr. Scary. Uh, it's scary. I can't imagine how he got that nickname, Mr. Scary. But maybe our cameras will show why. Where's your jumper? Sorry? Where's your bag? The younger ones will always say Mr. Scary because that's what that's what they see me as doing. Is our skirt long enough? Sorry. Shouting at people. Do you know how to test if it's long enough? And telling them to sort their uniform out. Yeah. Hands down by your side. If, as long as it's lower than your fingertips, that's fine. There are lots of new teachers to meet, and one thing that's bothering our year sixes is how strict they're going to be. I've seen the head teacher and the deputy head teacher, and they look quite nice. I know that they will be strict if something bad happens, because all secondary school teachers have, like, strict inside them. My worst nightmare would be having really strict teachers. I'm going to try to be on my best behaviour until I know what they're like. If they're nice teacher, then I'll let up a bit. If they're like, not nice teacher, staying well behaved. For some year sixes, secondary school is a chance to put primary school problems behind them and make a fresh start. Like Ewan. 
Ewan was often in trouble at primary school. When I was getting frustrated at school, I used to like feel like I wanted to get out because I felt like I was in. Uh, I felt I was like trapped. And then when I like, walked out of school, I felt like loads better. Will starting year seven be a chance for him to change his ways? It's like really important for me to make uh, new friends because then like they don't know what I was like in primary. CBBC cameras will capture the action when Ewan lands himself in hot water in his first few weeks. Wait, where do you think you're going? When I say we do not talk, what don't we do? Don't talk. Don't talk. I'll give like the schoolwork a try, but if it, it, like I'm not too sure how it's going to work out. You are sorry, aren't you? Yeah. I don't want to see you back up here again. No. OK? Will Ewan find something to help him stay in school? Good. Jog up to there, Ewan. Good, Ewan. You start now. Jog. Forward. Pass. Good, Ewan. That's lovely. Ewan will be joined in Year 7 by motorbike mad Kieran. Kieran has loads of energy whether it's putting the finishing touches to his cardboard motorbike or getting stuck into his levers assembly. It's Tuesday, that means it's Archer and the goals to do. But Year 7 is just a summer holiday away. I would prefer, like, playing out um, or riding my bike or going on my motorbike um, than school. Will Kieran be able to concentrate when he gets to secondary school. Leprechaun. Seven men! Whoop, whoop. Right, can you two settle down, please? Okay. I can't stand quietness. I love it, so let's be quiet. When I get told off, um, it's either for whispering, like a chatting, while the teacher's talking, or sometimes I daydream about motorbikes. On, we'll be watching as Kieran faces up to the challenges of starting Year 7. I should be a student leader because I really wasn't part of anything in primary. Uh, I'm good at listening to people's ideas, I'm responsible, and I can, I can follow the instructions that the teacher gives me. Is that everything? Yeah. OK, brilliant. Well done, Kieran. Yo. Jolly good show. <laughs> it's not just the Year 7s who'll be new to the school. There are some fresh faces amongst the teachers as well. We'll meet Miss Gibbons. We're all in the same position, um, which is brilliant. Uh, they're new, I'm new. Um, so, yeah, no, I think we're, we're all in it together now. Out of school, Miss Gibbons is a talented gymnast. But will she be able to keep a balance in the classroom? From September, she's going to be the form tutor for 7CG. And we'll be able to watch them all get to know each other. Why do you all have to shout at me? Right then, let's be quiet, please. Um... As a brand new teacher, and um, they're brand new, brand new students, so yeah, it'll be good to go through, right through school with them. Brilliant. OK, Year 7, have a lovely day. Work hard. Make me proud. Then there's Mr Glenn Denning. He's new as well. This is my first real teaching experience. Um, I'm sure I'm sharing the same sort of emotions and feelings as uh, all of the new Year 7s. A uh, bit of excitement, a bit of nervousness, probably a lot of sleepless nights. As a volunteer lifeboat crewman, he's used to a bit of drama. Run overboard! <laughs> so looking after Form 7AG should be plain sailing, right? Just like uh, all the new children coming into class of Year 7s, the, they've got themselves nice new smart uniforms, like myself. Bought a new shirt, new tie, new suit, um, new pair of shoes. Uh, kitted out a brand new pencil case as well. Always got to be prepared.
Those CBBC cameras will capture his first few weeks with his new tutor group. I want you to think about 10 years in the future. I want you to think about where you're going to be. And I don't mean which country or which city, but I want you to think about what your dreams and aspirations are. Is that hands up? It's the job of Mr Glenn Denning and Miss Gibbons to make sure our New Year Sevens feel welcome and happy. <laughs> and don't get lost. What we're going to do is we're going to line up and we're going to follow me all this way, OK? So they can get on with the important business of learning all that new stuff. I think secondary school is going to be nerve-wracking, but also very fun, and it will hold a lot of new opportunities, but will uh, be very different to my primary school. I'm going to be with totally new people and a different environment with different teachers and different subjects and things to learn. So that's going to be a very big change in my life. As well as new friends and teachers, Year 7 means new experiences too. I'm quite excited because there's new things to do. This is Ben. He's looking forward to secondary school, I think. I'm a very nervous person, but I like to try lots of things to see if I can stop being a nervous person. Ben lives with his parents and younger brother and sister. He's got some high hopes for the future. I've always wanted to be a pilot. Oh. But then I would have to get around my fear of heights. <laughs> what better place than year seven to try some new experiences? My hands are high, my feet are low, and this is how I bungalow. <laughs> his hands are high, his feet are low, and this is how he bungalow. Will music be where Ben finds himself? I think I'll be good at a trumpet or a saxophone, because I can hold my breath for quite a long time, and, like, I can just talk for ages. There'll be two or three short notes on that note. I'm quite nervous about going, but, if anything, I'm excited. All those CBBC cameras will even catch him having lunch. Look, I can cut it. I can cut it. Needn't have worried about your table manners, Ben. So, will he find something that really hits the spot? Some just can't wait to move from Year 6 to Year 7 and really spread okay, their wings. Hello, world, I'm a wild girl. I'm a ch 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 cherry <laughs> Delight came to this country from Zimbabwe five years ago. Zimbabwe is, is like, where I was born. I don't think anyone can really ever forget where they're from. I like this one. Yeah, this is this is when I graduated from nursery, isn't it? It's what made me me. I think without being from Zimbabwe, I wouldn't appreciate everything that I have. We'll see Delight as she joins Year 7 and tries to make her mum proud. I'm going to try as hard as I can to like, achieve what I want, because my mum worked so hard to get me here. I should just... The, the, best, I, the best way I can repay her is by doing my very best. Listen to the voice I hear. When I came to this country, I was pretty shy. But then after a while, when I knew what to say and I knew I'd stand up for myself, I kind of, yeah, I kind of grew a lot more confident. Je m'appelle, je m'appelle, de la mouche, what's on, je on, je on, salut, salut. Education is important because you need it for your life. You need to know certain stuff if you want to get somewhere. So you've met a few of our New Year Sevens. But that's just the beginning. Over the next few weeks, we'll be giving you an Access All Areas Pass to see what really goes on in our school. Ah, yes, our school. You see, I work here too. I'm Mr Thoburn. So the gas goes on and you quickly introduce it, like that. Don't spend all day with your hand in the flame and certainly, right, don't stand over it to light it. Don't go, oh, what's that, and then light it there. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to sharing in some of that Year 7 excitement. Now you can start. Remember, I want everybody to have a go at lighting them, turning them up, turning them down, switching them off. <gasps> He's the funniest Geordie ever. He's the best Geordie ever.
So here we are. It may be quiet and empty now, but tomorrow morning the bell will ring to kick off a new term. And those 221 Year 7 students will start their new lives at secondary school. There's no going back. Year 7 starts tomorrow. I'm going to wear a shirt. That skirt, are you? Yeah? How weird are these? I look like a right nobody in red <laughs> socks. Yeah, but everybody will have them on. Is it starting to hit home that you're going to big school? I don't really want to go. Oh, you have to, though. Do you want to go back to your other school? Yeah. Do you? It's just a bit, bit of a change, isn't it, really? But you'll be absolutely fine. I feel a bit better now I've got everything put away. But I'm still quite nervous for tomorrow. I'm nervous about this. I mean, I can barely find my way around a normal calculator, never mind a scientific calculator. Come on, let's have a look. Like it? Oh, that looks good. It's very good. Turn around. Very good. Excellent. Very nice. Excited. Yep. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Uh, feels like I'm, I'm all ready for big school and uh, makes me feel like I've been welcomed to kindness already. I really do hope my mum won't embarrass me when I get to the um, school tomorrow because she is one for embarrassing you. As soon as I'd get out of the car, she'd probably either try to hug me or kiss me. Right. Night off. Lots of lots of nice dreams, okay? Okay. Oh. Na -na. Aw, sweet dreams. Next time on Our School, we'll meet science guru Adam. Oh, this has been the best lesson ever. Yay! <laughs> Libby gets emotional. Okay. She didn't like it. And oh dear, Alex gets himself into trouble. Any idea what, you, what I want to speak to you about? Is it good or bad? Bad. And I'm going to ask you some questions about girls. Oh, Owen. For some reason, my ears are just like really floppy. Not as much as this. No, you can't do that card, can what, you? Bend that? No. Like, I literally bend it round each other and go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, go. No, no, I'll count to four, remember. Oh, yeah. 